Welcome back, various sad folks, to Omori. Um, we're in this spooky forest, where big bears occasionally try to rip out my insides, and I'm not a big fan of it. But we've been that direction. That's not helpful at all. We want to go this way. We want to press ever onwards, but just not near the bear. We want to press in directions that aren't bear-related, ideally, because the bear is a bad bear. Bad bear for bad boys. Omari, what are you doing? What are you doing? When I, t when I tell him to attack again, I ideally want him to attack the same target again. If you're at a, if you're up in a bunny's face, slashing it with your knife, and you hear the call to, to slash again, you don't immediately do a 180 and instead attack a completely different enemy. You, you, you keep going at the bunny, right? You keep working the bunny over. That's what it's all about. These fights are really hard. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but look, Kel's toast. I can't, I can't seem to get through these fights without, uh, at best, spending half my fucking mana, and at worst, losing party members. You have to run back to the picnic basket, the picnic basket after this. Sorry, there's a, there's a bear and I'm in the woods, so I have to say it like Yogi Bear. There's not really an, an alternative. I can't do the voice. I can't. It's like uh, Barney Rubble, isn't it? From the, fr from the Flintstones. Yogi Bear and Barney Rubble are, are pretty much the same. It's probably the same person voicing them, right? Probably. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really that knowledgeable about voice actors, at least not classic ones. I know a fair bit about people who are like in The Simpsons and shit, but I mean, who doesn't, right? Uh, what's... What the heck is this thing? It's kind of slimy. It smells like bad apples. There's more forest on the other side of this lump. Come on, Aubrey, smash the thing to sm smithereens. Oh, what's this? You're asking me for help, Kel? How rare. Step aside, I'll show you how it's done. I'm going to give this strange lump all I've got. Well, that was anticlimactic. Well, this is embarrassing. I guess we should find another way past this thing. Yeah, let's do that. Do we ride the minecart into it? I bet we ride the minecart into it, don't we? Let's go ride the minecart into it. it would make sense that all that uh, cart track repair that we were doing is actually going to serve a purpose. Have I been left of here? Yeah, okay. There's more of those uh, candle eyeball puzzles than I thought there were. Alright. Uh, th there we go. I did it. Let's just not discuss how difficult I found it to click on that minecart then. We'll just pretend that that didn't happen. We'll pretend I'm a very, very good gamer. That I have all the skills required to, uh, to progress through a... Oh, I'm going real fast. Hey, I'm not anymore. What a useful uh, application of my momentum. Oh, look at that. That's the pink castle. Someone mentioned the pink castle. They said there was something in the pink castle. I can't remember who it was or what it was or why it was, but it's relevant. It's plot relevant. Just you wait and see. Hey! Um... Actually, no. I don't really think there's anywhere we need to go right now, but... It's nice to see those actually working. I also like how his arm is the S in space line. I think that's some good typography. Basil, are you here? Basil, where are you? If he was, I think Mari would have found him, right? Hmm. It doesn't look like Basil is here either. Maybe in the next castle. Hey look, it's Mari. Mari, Mari! Oh, hello everyone. You all made it through the forest. I'm so proud of you. Mari, I... I was so scared. Hero. This is kind of embarrassing. 
uh, it sounds like these are really rich basils here. You could tell Hero about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. Maybe then he wouldn't find them so creepy. I'm not sure if that would help him right now. Ah, oh, Hero. You're going to have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. Maybe. Or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. You never know what the future brings. <laughs> Is there implications that there was like a a low level childhood romance going on between Hero and Mari as the older siblings of the group? I don't want the tofu. I'll have this though. I want a picnic with my friends. That sounds great. That sounds like a, a wonderful thing to do in the middle of this spooky spooky forest. The forest is a lot scarier than the one near the play playground and a lot older too. It does have a mysterious air about it, doesn't it? I heard there used to be a library filled with books here. But since no one took care of it, over time the library slowly sank into the ground. Or got stolen by a Minecraft player. That's a reference to my Minecraft Let's Play that you should be watching because I'm building a house and it's cool. I'm allowed to shill for my own shit, that's fine. It's not shilling if it's if it's self-promotion. Who told you that, Mari? Oh, just some shadows here and there. If you focused, you could see them too. That's terrifying. Whatever, reading is boring. Who wants to read anyway? Where is this library now, Mari? Well, if I were to guess, I would say it's right beneath us. Like, underground? Yeah, somewhere around here, probably. And then the conversation sort of gave up the ghost and we all just, we all just sat around for a bit. There's a fun picnic there. Are you selling anything useful? Cause I need I need stuff. I need I need I need life jam really. I oh, know I've got four. Oh, I've been collecting it quite well. I uh, don't need those. Hundred heart and fifty juice. Those are pretty boss. I think maybe some popcorn would be a good thing to stock up on. Honestly, it's only thirty-five heart to all friends, but. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll just buy two popcorn and two nachos. And that still leaves me with over a thousand clams, so hopefully I'll be able to afford anything more pricey when it comes along. It's really weird being in a situation where I need to buy healing items. That's, that's so rarely a thing in uh, in turn-based RPGs. They're normally like either thrown at you or completely irrelevant, or both. So, it's it's odd. Hmm, petrified sprout mole, huh? We're we gonna find a basilisk or a gorgon or Medusa herself. The possibilities are endless. Gonna be something that's big on the petrification there. That weird forest from Final Fantasy IX. Is it gonna be that weird forest from Final Fantasy IX? Turn back. You can't make me. I'm a brave individual. I'm not afraid of no ghost. Or boss fight. I thought we were heading to the pink castle, but this looks like a boss fight if I ever saw one. Is there going to be more beyond this, or is this going to be the end of this section? It's getting dark. Oh. It's like a... A millipede or something. Oh no, it's made of sprout moles. Oh, that's... That's a weird yet awesome design. I like that. That's that's cool. Um, I'm going to save up for the big, super big bang attack. Um, as usual. Try to remember what my skills do. Mock is only useful if it's angry, which it isn't at the moment. Uh, and that's only useful if I'm sad, which I'm not at the moment. So, yeah, we'll just attack. We're gonna... We're gonna... Keep going with the early game counter, because Aubrey's got the most health. And it allows me to bait out their attacks and see what we're dealing with. Seems like a pretty sensible option. I'll just get some, some big damage on him for now. Gonna want you to... Uh, conserve... Conserve your mana for healing, so you just do attack as well.
Okay, okay. Okay. Does she not does she not counter attacks like that? I guess she doesn't. It hmm. See there's an upside and a downside to this because obviously it, that's pretty rough, taking all that damage every turn. But also I've got seven of my charge. All he has to do is do that once more and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be swimming in juices. That was gross, wasn't it? That's not what good words mean. Um I guess we wanna keep on top of the sprout moles. I think that seems sensible. You still run and gun that. And you throw us out some of them some of them fries, wherever the, where are the fries? They're the fries, I just missed them. Oh no, no, it's the cheaper ones, isn't it? What was what was it I just bought? 35 healing to everyone is a thing that I'm looking for right now. That is a thing that, there it is, popcorn. Popcorn. Okay, we'll use a popcorn. Let's try and keep that health topped up for now. That running gun does nothing. That is an irrelevant ability if I ever saw one. Heli took any damage and it nearly killed Kel, so that's that's unfortunate. Oh. Did that heat yeah, that healed it. Okay. Okay, I see how this works. So we really need to make sure those go down. Okay, we're feeling this out. It's fine. It's fine. Let's do an all all in attack round, except we'll just uh We'll do a quick cook on Cal. As long as it damages someone this turn. Like that. I oh know it's 10 we need. I keep thinking it's 9 we need for the super ability, but it's 10. I don't know why I keep thinking 9. That's a really dumb number that it just wouldn't be. But for some reason, that's what's in my head. I don't know if I can go over 10. I don't know if 10 hard. Like, if it does an AoE attack, will I go to 13 or will it hard cap at 10? Is the question. I guess we'll find out. hard caps at 10. Okay, that's a shame. But it's... I, I, I have knowledge now. I have information. Fresh information to use, which is which is good. It's a good thing. Have you got nothing? You, you don't really, do you? You don't really have anything you can do that's worthwhile. Um, I could make it angry and then lower... Mm. No, nah, that's that's overcomplicating things. Let's just keep keep blasting that popcorn. Oh, almost didn't press it. <laughs> right, come on, big numbers, big big numbers, big scary numbers, terrifying numbers. Is it just a flat? It was like a flat 300, wasn't it? It did last time. Oh no, 600. Okay. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> okay. That works for me, honestly. I thought that I didn't think that would kill it at all. I thought that would like half its health or something and we'd still have a way to go, but God, look at all these abilities. It smells like someone learned Team Spirit. And now the world's a better place. I'm gonna go back to the uh I'm going to go back to the picnic. I'm going to heal. I'm going to save. I'm not just going to press onward blindly. Although it's very rare that a video game would would do that to, to a player. Like, give you another hard fight immediately after, after a boss. Without a free opportunity to heal and save in the middle. But, better safe than sorry, you know. This game hasn't exactly been like other games thus far, you know what I mean? Let's have a look at what these new skills do. So Mori and Aubrey, you learn them, right? Lucky Slice. Attack that's stronger when Omori is happy. Well, that's been literally never. Hack Away is something that I'd really like to equip, but I just can't justify it for the cost, so... Aubrey, I don't need Twirl because she's permanently happy anyway. Makes Aubrey and a friend happy, okay. Interesting. I've already got pep talk, which makes a friend happy. 
and Aubrey is already permanently happy as previously discussed. So yeah, not super useful I guess. I could switch the trinket that is making Aubrey permanently happy to Omori and give him the happy slice. That sounds like a plan. Let's do that. Let's do that. That's not how I do that. You just equip... Equip... Yeah, we've got nothing. Good. We'll just swap whatever uh, Aubrey's using at the moment. The cat ears, yeah. Give the cat ears to the one girl character, of course. Let's be heteronormative around here. Um, Daisy. I feel like that gold watch has to do something, because it's not like it's something I started with that just does nothing. It's it's something I actually found quite a few hours into the game, so I feel like the fact that it, it doesn't seem to do anything is a misnomer, and there will be some use for it at some point. I want to keep Mark. I'm not I'm not gonna bother with stab anymore because I'm I'm going for a happy build on Omori. So yeah, we'll go lucky slice build. That sounds fun. And Aubrey Honestly can just keep these skills. I don't think that new one was that useful. Team Spirit, I don't think it, it's gonna be a game changer. Making two people happy is nice, but I feel like it's going to be rare that I'm going to need to do that, especially since Omori is permanently happy. I don't know. We'll see. If it comes up, then, you know, if we come up against a boss that's weak to my people being happy, then that might be something I can equip for that, but I think for the most part I'm good with my current setup. I very rarely use any skills anyway. I don't know if that's the game's failing or mine, but... Oh! Sproutmall Village. Very nice. It's a 2D sec. Well, it's the game's all 2D, but you know what I mean. A side-on section. Didn't know these existed. I don't. That's another save point. I just seem to be rapidly saving in quick succession around these parts, but that's probably a good thing. Hello. Fidget, fidget, fidget. Hush, hush, hush. We sprout moles do not dare leave the colony ever since the great move. It was a hard time. Many of us didn't make it. Sprout moles were getting lost left and right. Children were separated from their families. Oh, the horror. I mean, at least it's all okay now, for the most part. I hate Mondays. Hey, you there. You creatures seem like well-seasoned travellers. Could you help me out? My brother lives in the sprout mole colony in Otherworld. I want to send him a care package, but I'm afraid of getting lost. Would you be able to deliver this for me? Sure. Thank you, strange creatures. I'm sure we'll appreciate it. Here you go. Make sure it gets to him safely. I'm assuming... I mean, Otherworld is presumably the, the space place we went to, right? And there was a screen I went to that I didn't explore properly that had a ladder down in it. I assume that was going to be the Sprout Mall Colony in Otherworld. I'll have to go back there at some point and properly explore that. Ah, hello, strange-looking Sprout Moles. Are you here to see Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts? If so, you came to the right place. This sold-out extravaganza spectacular will be starting very shortly. Wait a second, I know this show. We have front row show tickets for it. Ah, I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance. Heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, loneliness. Oh, the drama. This is going to be so fun. I can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know, I guess it looks interesting. Um, but no, it doesn't seem like the right time. But you promised we could earlier. Please, Hero, we should at least check it out. Please, 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 please. Well, all right. Hopefully this won't take too long. Um, if I may have your show tickets, please? Yes, of course, Mr. Sproutmall, sir. We have our tickets right here. I'll be reached into your pocket and took out the show tickets. People are getting very intimate with my pockets in this game, and I'm not sure I'm okay with that. Here you go, Mr. Sproutmall. Oh. Oh my. I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. You, you all have made some great sacrifices to get here today. I applaud you. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At a second glance, you are the most normal looking sprout moles I have ever seen. Please enjoy your front row seats, fellow normal looking sprout moles. I'd love to, but there's a ladder down over here that I'm very curious about. 
Look at that Sprout Mole. That is a prestigious Sprout Mole indeed. This place is very large. This place is very large and very explorable. I feel like I'm going to be... I'm working on a revolutionary technology that will change all life in the colony. Nay, the world. Okay, uh, you don't have any explanation for what I saw down there. The little shop of horrors bullshit plant. That looks ready to consume most... I noticed there was an anvil suspended above it. But I'm assuming I can't really... I need some something to trigger that. I need some way of... I mean, actually, having said that, what's... Yes, I want to cut the wire. Of course I want to cut the wire. Success! I murdered a thing. It may not have been hostile, but it sure looked it. And I want the free stuff. The orange juice, the combo meal, the life jam. This was all worth the murder I committed. It's like a full McDonald's, like, uh happy meal that I just got there and I'm all about it I have no idea what I'm doing yeah me neither mate despite all my rage despite all my rage I'm still just a mole in a cage do you think we'll all be friends after we graduate hey look at this cool thing I drew <laughs> the, the S the S symbol the S the S that none of us know the origin of but we all thought was very cool in high school I know I understand. This wall is nice and cold. This room is occupied. I cannot be disturbed right now. No humans allowed. This room is for sprout moles only, I can tell. We are two. We are one. We are twan. Siamese sprout moles. I never knew that was a thing. Be fair, there's a lot I don't know about sprout moles. There are... There are strange... Uh alien race to me at least it's so hard to get a good night's sleep lately if only i had something to make the experience of sleeping more comfortable like a pillow ah, that's silly huff 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 why are you a square christmas is my favorite time of year so why not just celebrate christmas all the time i want the item i'm sorry christmas is ruined it is it really is I got the was it always hell through that window did I just did I just change that did I just ruin this guy's whole existence squack swish 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 ah winter it may be snowing outside but winter is time for friends and family cuddling next to a warm fire sharing stories sipping on hot cocoa and most importantly taking a breather after a long year winter is the best season don't you agree actually no oh that does not bring me joy Ah, spring. Spring brings us beauty. Spring brings us joy. Spring brings us life. Spring brings us a rejuvenating spirit to start things anew. Spring is the best season, don't you agree? It's a hard no on that one, Chief. I've got hay fever. A uh, poo on you. Don't poo on me. Ah, summer. The sand, the sun, the beach, the waves. Not to mention summer vacation. Finally, some time for rest and relaxation. That's what life is all about. Summer is the best season, don't you agree? No, because it's too fucking hot. I don't handle hot weather well. Fall. Autumn leaves. Comfy clothes. The smell of cinnamon. The perfect time to cuddle up with a book. And with holidays right around the corner, you just gotta love fall. Fall is the best season, don't you agree? Yes! I concur. Fall is the best season. I'm delighted that you agree. Here is a gift from me. I hope you find a good use for it. Got a rake. I think that was... That was a weapon? Oh, you can't... You can't de-knife. You're permanently knifed up. Hold up. Hold up. I'll work out who can use this. I'll work out who can use this rake. Oh, none of you can. Is it? Ah. Attack plus three. That's not a lot of stats. I think my other gear is better, honestly. Just out of curiosity. I see that you've tossed your favour in the way of fall. You received no gifts from me. That's a shame because the gift fall gave me was a bit shit, honestly. Oh, there's a lot of people here. It's a sprout mold gym. Power cable? A very large happy outlet. Because it's got a little smiley face on it. 
where the socket is. Yeah, I get it. Huff, huff, huff. Huff, huff, huff. Huff, huff, huff. Huff, huff, huff. Oh, I thought maybe I could use it. Huff, huff, huff. Huff, huff, huff. Huff, huff, huff. Huff, huff, huff. You know, I thought maybe one of them would say something different. What a fool I was. Faster, man. We must push ourselves to the limit and strive for a brighter tomorrow. Floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. I don't know what the deal with those mirrors is. I really don't get it. I thought maybe now that um, Basil had shown me that thing that's following me, I thought maybe I'd start seeing that in the mirror, but not at present. Gra, the humble abode of Rosa. Gra, gra, the number one sweetheart fan in the world. What about that other sweetheart fan? You know the other one. Also, why aren't you at a concert if you're a number one fan, hey? Explain that. There's a concert going on right now, and you could be part of it. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. Excellent. You recorded the joke and you... Oh, sweet. I got a joke. I got a joke. I can bring it to the, the joke woman. The joke woman of the lake. You know the one. Got some interesting fellas here. Hello, sir or madam. Would you be interested in purchasing some fine tofu? It will cost you exactly one clam. Sure. For one clam, I'll, I'll invest. Thank you for your patronage. How good is the tofu? Is it good tofu? Five heart. Oh, we've already got some, and I, I I, could have checked and seen that it was garbage. It never hurts to have tofu on you at all times, and I've gotten out of plenty sticky situations with tofu. Look at me. I'm truly the most beautiful sprout mole, am I not? Maybe. I don't know. Hard to say. How dare you speak such blasphemy. It's only common knowledge that tofu is better when served hot. Are you mad? Any sprout mole with a decent sense knows that tofu is better when served cold. There's no need to fight. Why don't you two come to a compromise? Who knows? Maybe you're both right. Or maybe you can cook tofu in a way that hasn't been done yet. Somewhere between hot and cold. Like, I don't know, lukewarm? Ew. Lukewarm tofu. That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Even cold tofu is better than that. Lukewarm tofu. I want to throw up. Even hot tofu is better than that. And that's how you solve arguments. Ah yes, welcome. You must be here to learn about the best culinary feat since sliced bread. Tofu. I'm going to regret saying yes to this, aren't I? C'est magnifique. Here's your tofu trivia for the day. Soft tofu is best prepared raw or drained. It's best for dessert, smoothies, dips and sauces. If you wish to know more about the amazing and majestic tofu, feel free to talk to me again. Alright. There are four kinds of tofu. Firm, extra firm, soft and silken. If you wish to know more about the... Okay, I, I actually don't care. I actually don't care. I see the developer of this game is a big fan of tofu and knows plenty about it and wanted to impart their knowledge onto their game gameplay player players. But that ain't me, Chief. That ain't me. I'm not I'm not a tofu boy. Sprout moles are such funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it. Did you know? Sprout moles really like tofu to I, I I gathered. I gathered that, yeah. I brought some tofu at a tofu stand earlier. Feel free to try some. Oh, free tofu. Sweet. Right, we haven't really achieved anything, but I'm going to save anyway, just to acknowledge that I've done all that. Let's go see this trailer. This trailer. This theatre performance. That's what I wanted to say. Should be good. I'm excited. Look at this. Look at this grand stage. It's not bad for a group of people who live in a literal cave, is it? They may not care that much about their living spaces or their... Or their kitchens, or literally anything else, but their theatre, that they go all in on. If these are my seats on the left. Well, look at this huge stage, it's as amazing as I imagined. Let's take our seats, it looks like the show is about to start. Attention, the drama. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Before our show, we wanted to take a moment to honour the life of someone who has been an inspiration to us all, a beloved leader, ye old Sprout. Is that the dude I killed? 
He was truly a father that none of us deserved. Let's have a moment of silence in memory of him. May he rest in peace. And now, on to the show! Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favourite princess once again failed to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. This time we've rounded up three new, very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture the Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now. Contestant number one is a local of Sproutmore Village. He's coming in at three feet tall, his favourite food is tofu, he has a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for contestant number one! This isn't what I was expecting. Contestant 2 is, yep, you guessed it, also a local of Sproutmore Village. Careful, he's coming in at a hot 3 feet and 1 whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running and crawling. His favourite colour combination is brown and green and he spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Mmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant number 2! And now, for something completely different, contestant number three comes all the way from Otherworld. It's like he just fell out of the sky. Literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snaily! And now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most Face. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's all that is amazing and wonderful. She is just about to set foot on this very stage. Please give a big warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent sweetheart. Uh oh. Uh oh. Snaily. Oh no, there's a blackout. Now what do we do? I have to know what happens next. Let's wait it out. I'm sure the Sprout Moors will get the power back on in no time. Help! We don't know what to do! Help! We don't know what to do either! Help! 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 Well, maybe we should look around just in case. Well, I know where the power is. I can go, the, get, I can go get the power back on. It's easy. Easy. Just go plug it back in. Well, I guess the blackout affected all of Sproutmore Village, too. Hero, what do we do now? Don't worry, Aubrey. This is where my handyman expertise comes into play. In cases like this, we should probably be looking for some kind of backup generator. I've got this. I'm on this. I know exactly what the problem is. I'll sort it right out. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about a thing. Because every little thing... It's gonna be alright. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting most of these Sprout Moors to have new conversation topics if I talk to them now. But I kinda just can't be bothered. I hope that's okay. I hope you don't mind us missing out on that. I don't think I ever went down that ladder into the flamingo pit. There's something to bear in mind. We got the pace, boys. We must make haste. We're trying our best, Warden. This is as fast as we can go. Why isn't it working? I feel sick. Just keep running, moles. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. Oh, are they powering the electricity? Is that how this works? Wire isn't plugged into the outlet. Plug it in? For sure! Ba -ba. Good job, me! What did I say, moles? Hard work pays off. Now keep on running. If I just... I'd love to exercise with my friends, that sounds amazing. Hero's not as good at it as everyone else. He's a bit slow. Well that was that was fun. <laughs> this game does have some weird, like pointless non cutscenes. I guess it's like building a relationship with the characters or whatever, but it's still a bit a bit out there. Sprout moles, while intelligent, are also very obsessive creatures. As you can see, I lack any semblance of self-control. I guess this is the dude who was 
This is one of the contestants, right? The guy who collects flamingos, they, they mentioned him. Don't know who the other one was, he was just a standard sprout mole. He didn't seem to have any personality. Said he liked long walks or something. Oh well. Back to the show anyway. We've done our bit. We've solved the problem. You can't say we haven't. Uh-oh, what's going on here? You alright, dude? Someone, please help me. I'm in need of a handsome young gentleman. You, yes. You there in the striped pants, you magnificent beast. Oh yes, oh ho ho! You look like you'll do just fine. Uh-huh. Well, uh, well, well, thank you. I, I don't know what to say. Please, kind sir, will you help out a poor lowly mole? I am desperately in need of your service. Well, since you asked so nicely, how can I refuse? Thank you, thank you, young lad. You're so generous. Please, come this way now. Chop, chop. Wait, hold on. Can my friends come too? Oh yes, your friends. You're all here to see Sweetheart's Quest, yes? If so, you'll meet again soon enough. They're putting Hero on the stage. Now come, sir. We need to make haste. Hero left the party. He's going to win Sweetheart's love. Just watch. Just you watch. I can't wait. I'm excited. Greetings, sweetheart fans. We apologize for the short intermission. Welcome back to our regularly scheduled program. During the break, we regret to inform you that this tragic accident has occurred right here on this very stage. At this time, we announce the sudden loss of contestant number three. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds that we got to know him. He was a truly a unique and irreplaceable soul. But the show must go on. Please give a warm welcome to our new contestant number three, hailing all the way from the vast forest. It's our hero in shining armor! Get this guys, hero's a real hunk standing at a whopping five foot seven. That is quite tall for like a, what, 12 year old or whatever he's supposed to be. His passions include baking, cooking, and cleaning. And if that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. And now, once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. You're gonna make me say that word again, aren't you? She truly has the most pul... pultritudinous... pultritudinous... pultritudinous face. Yes, you know what we're talking about. She is all amazing and wonderful. She's just about to set foot on this very stage. She's the one, the only, the magnificent. Oh, 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 oh. Ho 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 ho. Those hoes are so big they escape the text box. Yeah, I get it. Oh ho 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 ho. An excellent entrance, my liege. Is she a sprout mole? She's got like a kind of brown face. Is she just a sprout mole with like a wig and clothes on? Ah oh, yes, it is me! Hello my stupid adoring fans! We love you sweetheart! Yeah, you're the best! Yeah, woo! Oh, ho 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 ho! Sweetheart, we have brought three of the best bachelors in the world onto this stage. Will today be the day that one of them steals your heart? Let's start with some questions. One thing the sweetheart values most in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. Do you, contestant number one, agree to pledge your allegiance to sweetheart for the rest of your life? Contestant number one, what is your answer? Uh, sure. I don't know, I guess. Playing hard to get, I see. What do you think about that response, sweetheart? Hmm, just three feet tall. My, that is much too short. Sent him off. To the dungeon! Hey, hey, what, what did you say? The dungeon? She's a bit more sinister than I was expecting. She's a dangerous lady. Help me! Now, on to contestant number two. We ask you the same question. There's no right or wrong answer, just answer truthfully. Contestant number two, will you pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, uh, sure, if it means I won't get sent to the dungeon. 
My word, this one. This very being offends me. Take him away, boys. You can't escape. There's no escape. Contestant number three, it looks like you're the last one standing. I'll ask the same question one more time. Again, no pressure at all. Do you, Hero, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, no, that doesn't seem fair at all. Why would I do that? My, this one. He's absolutely immaculate. Could it be? Is Sweetheart in love? What an exciting turn of events! This must be fate, a match made in heaven! Wait, but I just said... Ah, uh, yes! You're... no, wrong voice. <laughs> I've got one character who has a voice in this entire playthrough. And I'm already fucking it up. Ah, uh, yes, yes, you'll do just fine. Now, what was your name again? Uh, it's, uh, it's Hero, ma'am. Hero? My hero. We must go to my chambers at once. Oh, he's like 12. That's very inappropriate. Gods, I have chosen my suitor. Take him away. Guys, please, do something. I guess we've got combat then. Whoa, Hero's gonna marry Sweetheart? I didn't see that one coming at all. What are you saying? We have to help him. What do you want me to do about it? I don't want to go to the dungeon. Oh, Kel, you're so useless. Hero, you have to reject Sweetheart. It's time, Hero. Your princess awaits. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, I don't think she's gonna listen to me. Just do it already. Okay, I'll try. Uh, excuse me, sweetheart. Ma'am? Ah, yes, my lovely hero. How I yearn for the sound of your sweet voice. Say my name again. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's that's nice of you. I mean, uh... So, why do I have to do this? Um, um, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Hi, whatever you do, m do you mean, my prince? I, uh... This is really flattering and all, but, you know, we only just met, like, a few moments ago, and, well, I have to reject your, uh, offer? Oh, pish posh, don't be silly, hero. I've never heard anything sillier. It, it's true. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but... I don't want to marry you. Oh, <laughs> Raggy. That's, uh, that's a tonal shift, isn't it? The tone has been shifted. This, this is preposterous. No, this, this is blasphemy. You dare reject Sweetheart. Everyone loves Sweetheart, you hear me? Everyone. Send him off to the dungeon. Hey, stop right there. You can't take Hero, he belongs to us. What's this now? What is a non-Sweetheart fan doing in the audience? Ah, oh, I see. You must be Hero's fans. The nerve of you lot. First you make a fool out of me, and then you interrupt me during my own show. I'm the one who makes the rules around here. Guards, take them away. Oh, that's a lot of guards. Now you've done it, Aubrey. Let's just get this cursor off the screen, huh? This is, this is really distracting, isn't it, having this here? I didn't notice it was here until just now. I'm real sorry about that. I've gone and gone and ruined the whole Let's Play, haven't I? Having this here, having this here, doing its thing. Oh well. It broke the tension of the moment, huh? It gave us some much needed distraction from the fact that these children have just been thrown in a prison cell. Anyway, let's carry on. Oh man, now we're all stuck in the dungeon. Sorry guys, it's my fault we're all in this mess. No, it's not Hero, no one could have predicted that would happen. Oh ho ho ho. Oh ho 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 ho, you fools. Don't you recognise me? It's me, Rosa, the number one sweetheart fan in the world. I told you you'd pay for crossing me. Curses, we've been bamboozled. I should have known you were behind this, Rosa. It's true what they say, revenge is sweet. Now rot, you peons, rot in the dungeon forever. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Dang it. Are we ever going to get out of here? We'll find a way. Come on, guys, let's think about this. Where do we even start? It's not like they just leave the gate unlocked, would they? Nah, seems unlikely. Okay, what's the plan then? Hmm, how are we going to get out of this? How are we going to escape this mess? Hmm, Aubrey can do something over here. With her, her weird eggplant emoji plushie that she has. 
more sexualizing of minors right there. Why do I keep finding ramen in toilets? Why is that like a running thing in this game? I don't think I want to go down there. That doesn't seem very safe. Why is there a... This is not fruit punch. No, it's blood. This looks like a job for Kel. Alright, well... Do what you gotta do, Kel. Alright. Okay. Fair enough. These guards are really bad. They're really bad at doing the guard thing. The fuck is this room? Cardboard boxes for no other reason than to take up space. A telescope, but the lens is covered with tape. A vanity, but the mirror makes you look especially unflattering. A bunch of books, but the pages are glued shut. Nourishment. What a weird room. I feel like that's... Was, there's some meaning to that room, but I have no idea what it is or why. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pretend I, I didn't, I, I, I didn't see it. I'm just gonna not acknowledge its existence. I think that's probably for the best. I just leave. Oh no, the spikes at the door. I feel like I can. Yeah, I was gonna say. I feel like there is combat involved here, but I'm just very rarely actually stumbling into it, you know? Okay, okay. Omori looks weird, Happy. It's a bit terrifying. I think it's the dead eyes and the happy grin combined. It looks a little bit sociopathic, you know? Why is this guy called Harold? Is there a reason? Are they all called Harold, or is, just, is it just this one specifically? Will I ever know the answer to that? Good experience for killing him, like. Okay, another stuck one. Okay, the eyes in the wall aren't anything. I guess that's fine. Um... Marsha. She's just got a halberd glued to her face. Well, sellotape to her face, I suppose. I don't know why I say glue when it's quite clearly not glue, but you know what I mean. Stuck. The halberd is attached, firmly attached to face, which is which is odd. I guess they don't really have arms, so they wouldn't really have any other way of wielding a weapon, but the, the night people having it, like, fused into the helmet makes a lot more sense than this. Whatever. Marsha dead now. Thus ends the Ballad of Marsha. Another one that won't budge, that's fine. That's okay, I don't mind. I'm gonna keep collecting tofu from pots. Oh no, what are we gonna do? No one ever escapes the dungeon. I've noticed that all the uh, skeletons in here are clearly human skeletons, which is a bit odd considering everyone in this area is a sprout mole. <gasps> I found a save point. A save point and a healing point and lots of other good things. Huzzah! After countless failures I finally made my escape. All I need to do is find the exit. Can I get to the button? You're very annoying. You've made life very difficult for me when it doesn't need to be. Yeah, it does look like a job for Kel, you're right. Go on then, Kel. Okay. Okay, that's good. Sort of. I'm assuming this ladder is the one that I came down earlier. Yeah, okay. Can I not go back down? Oh, I can. I just have to approach from this side for some reason. But I can't go this way until the prisoner leaves. Do I need to talk to him with Hero, maybe?
Okay, I guess not. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? I could just get Mari to press the button, can't I? Hey, it's Mari! Mari, Mari, help us! We're stuck in the dungeon! Oh no! There you go. Now come down here and enjoy a nice picnic with me. I promise you'll feel better right away. Tell you what, I feel a lot better once I've touched this fucking save point. There we go, there we go, Jesus Christ. Okay, that took far longer than it should have done, so I'm going to wrap here. Um, thanks for watching, folks. Um, um, I apologise for how dumb I was there, but in my defence, I see spikes that I can't pass through. I assume I can't pass through them. You know, that's pretty, uh, pretty common sense, I would have thought, but... Oh well, whatever, whatever. I'll just be mad at the game on my own time. I'll see you guys around.